Hi friends, welcome back. In this video, I want to be specific about Vodafone Red Limited, whether to hold now, buy now or exit because there has been a dramatic play that has been played by media people and we don't know that is going to be true or not because there has not been any official submitted, I mean there has not been any official news by these companies posted on NSC and BSC website till now so that the first thing is there we don't know whether it is real or false if it real if what happens is real and what happens if it is false so guys let us be clear only one thing click the subscribe button below so uh, removing all these fines guys uh, I want this very crisp okay what happened really if you ask me guys Supreme Court has asked DOT Department of Telecom why not you ask the telecom parties such as Bharati, Airtel and Vodafone idea to pay the due amount to you because the AJR case has been withdrawn first time and the review petition has been filed correct and the review petition also been dismantled by the Supreme Court. So what basically Bharati, Airtel and Vodafone idea said is that we have filed a last security petition or a modification petition. If until the petition outcome comes, okay, until the outcome comes, we will not pay the due amount. And also, DOT or DOT Department of Telecom has also accepted it. So it was the first thing that has happened. Now the second thing what really happened today is that the media media people saying like this. What they have said is that. Department of, I mean, the Supreme Court asked several questions to Department of Telecom why retain the telecom companies pay and the due amount. And also they have said that, this, this is the second thing what the media people said. They have also said that the Vodafone Idea Limited MD and also Bharati Airtel MD and Department of Telecom should appear on the Supreme Court. Supreme Court on the last AJR meeting which is on March 16, 2020, I repeat again, the last meeting is on March 16, 2020. So this is the last meeting regarding it. So guys, and this has been happened. The third thing is that media people started to say something blabberly like word of an will shut down, word of an will be gone down, that's all the matter is over. So they are telling this, is, this is the fourth point they are telling. The fifth point they are trying to say is that only two companies will now survive. Uh, Vodafone India will not be in the market. It will go to insolvency process. So guys, clearly think in a out of box way because the amount of loan this banks this banks have given to these companies. If a uh, Vodafone India closes down, then think the amount of money they can get. If Vodafone India goes to insolvency process, government also will not get their amount. Banks will not get their amount. If banks do not get it because do not get it, then what will happen? Then all the funds will be collapsed and the banks will post losses. Already public sector banks are posting losses. 4,000 crores has been given as a loan to Vodafone Idea only by IDFC First Bank. So that is the main problem now. And if the company goes under insolvency, then there is a problem there. And I think it's a better option to call the managing directors and to speak on this media people because uh, there has been no official submit. I will clear guys. There has been no official submit till now regarding this issue. And this is being being carrying on and there is no still any official issue. So people if you ask me whether can I buy now, hold now or exit. The answer to you we already said that we will hold till the AJR update comes. Now the share price may be down. If the AJR issue is positive guys, if the AJR issue is positive then think of the amount of the share price can rise. So I am not speaking on emotion, I am speaking the practical thing guys. Yes, always people say buy on dips and this is the dips cost caused by these media people currently now. But who knows anything can happen on the March 16, 2020 AJR issue. What happens if the government if the government supports this telecom department and telecom companies and make them to survive so they can stand against the Supreme Court and this may happen because in the year 1999 the same case has been happened against the telecom companies in which government has supported and this is real if you cannot believe go and search in Google regarding uh, 
1999 when supreme court act against department of telecom when his government has supported telecom companies to come up because of this issue i mean the various issues similar to it so i think government will be definitely supporting all the telecom companies and whether to hold no buy no or exit the final question answered if we can take risk then definitely hold it till the age that should come if we cannot take risk if you want to book class I mean, if you can take little risk, but you want to book class and come out, you try to exit the range of 4.20 to 4.5. If you are taking, if you are fearing so much, guys, because I think uh, we don't know, we don't know the end point because anything can be happening and anything can say. So we want to wait till the problem sort out. So can we buy now? If you ask me, guys. So if you believe the age issue can be positive, then definitely you can buy a small amount because uh, you can buy a hundred or two hundred or three hundred shares. Even if you invest thousand rupees, if the share goes to five or six rupees, it will be benefited, right? Means it is up, it is about the government in order to now come and help. So second news is that the managing director should come and see in the Supreme Court meeting, which is going to be conducted. And this is about Vodafone Limited, guys. And this is the latest regarding it. See the video very soon.